We're all familiar with the Pasuk Velosus Urachari Lubavchem V'yachari Neichem. We say it multiple times a day. And I think many people assume the Pasuk is teaching us to not follow the temptations that we may have in our hearts. Perhaps you can add a layer of understanding to this Pasuk, though the Nitziv quotes the Sifri at the end of this week's Parsha. The Sifri tells us why do we even need the Pasuk of Velosus Urachari Lubavchem. So the Sifri says we have a Pasuk in Kohelis that says, Samach Bachor Biyadusecha, that the young boy will be happy in his younger years. His younger days, but eventually the halich he's gonna go and follow his heart. So this Sifri wonders which way is he going to wonder follow his heart? Is he going to follow on the Derech Yashar on a proper path in line with Halacha, in line with the Torah? Or is he going to do follow a path Bidarh uh a path in whichever way he wants to go, whether or not it's in line with Torah and Halacha? So come on Shmalon Tamil Lomar says the Sifri, no, Vilosasurachri the Vavchem, he's not going to go and veer from the path in the Derech HaTorah, rather he's going to stay on the path of Torah and follow Halacha. Says the Nitziv, what's the Havamina though that a person would go off the path and, and go away from the Torah? So he says that when we're following our hearts, very often our hearts can mislead us. We follow our hearts, we can think, this thing is the socially appropriate thing to do. This thing is the right thing to do. Based on our modern day sensitivities and sensibilities, this is the correct thing to do. Or maybe we even think that I'm going to do this thing, I'm going to daven in a certain way. Or again, whatever the case may be, we're going to do it in a certain way because it makes me feel good. And when I do it and I'm impassioned and I'm excited about it, so that brings nachas to HaKadosh Baruch But the fact of the matter is, says the Nitziv, is that when we do things shelo kehalacha, that brings no nachas ruach to a Kaddish Baruch Hu, regardless of how we feel about it. Just because our hearts are telling us to go in a certain way does not mean we should be serving HaKadosh Baruch Hu in that way. We have to make sure that we are following and serving HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the context and framework of halacha. However, the other side of that coin is we have to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and not just that, we have to follow our hearts in the service of HaKadosh Baruch Hu within the framework of halacha. There's so many mitzvos. We have 613 mitzvos. Why so many? The Ramam tells us because there's at least one that every single Jew should connect to. Well, how do we know which mitzvah should we focus on? Of course, we have to try to do as many as you can. But which mitzvah should be my baby? Which mitzvah should I make mine? Should be dear to me or be especially dear to me? So the Nitziv says we have to follow our hearts. There's some people who are into Torah. There's some people who connect to Avoda, and there's some people who are drawn towards Gemilas Chasadim, and all of that is good. We have to follow our hearts when it comes to figuring out what mitzvah speaks to us. We cannot, we must not follow our hearts if it's taking us outside the framework of Halacha. But within the framework of Halacha, we have to, we have to follow our hearts because there's no greater Nachas Ruach than us experiencing a sense of autonomy and self-expression within the framework of Halacha.